Hello, my name is Cody Mills and I am the Baton Rouge Realtor with the Baton Rouge Public and we made it. We are at the main library on Goodwood. If you guys will like and subscribe, hit that button for me so that I can bring you more videos, more content to educate and inform and showcase the best of Baton Rouge. Okay, so we just pulled up to the main library at Goodwood. They're gonna give us a personal tour. Um, first thing I noticed is this place is massive. I don't know if I've ever seen a library this big before. Now, I have some questions though, like, you know, with everything that's going on online, you know, is there a need for a library still? Is it still gonna be a fun place for you to go with the kids and hang out? Um, as big as this place is, I mean, it, you know, the, it, is it still necessary to have a library? I haven't been in a library in, man, in seven years. Back to across Louisiana, you know, it's one of the pinnacles of learning here in the Greater Baton Rouge area. It's the East Baton Rouge Parish Library, and they've got lots of exciting things going on, like the digital library. You're here to tell us all about that is Mary Stein. Welcome back to the show, Mary. Thanks, Nils. Mary Stein with the East Baton Rouge Parish Library. How are you? I'm great, Jay. First, I want to go on the record and say that Harry Potter and the Oprah Winfrey saved reading in America. So walking up, we finally made it in. This is Miss Mary. She's going to tell us a little bit more about the library. And I did tell her that I haven't been to a library in a long time. So she's going to be guiding me through it. I'm going to be asking some stupid questions and she's going to knock me over the head. No and questions are stupid, Cody. That's what a librarian would say. That's right. You, you <laughs> circle of trust. There's no judgment here. Uh, with wonderful gardens. It's maintained by the Botanical Garden Foundation. We do programs. What is the botanical? Yeah, that's, oh, another, that's another day. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> gardens are a big hobby in Baton Rouge and okay. in the whole region and okay. the whole capital I didn't know region. That. Oh yeah, people, especially because of COVID, people spend a lot of time outside. These are kind of like teaching gardens. They have demonstration gardens. So there's okay. a sensory garden where things smell and touch. They have iris gardens, lily gardens, rose gardens, wow. and from time to time, master gardeners, and then the Botanic Foundation itself does programs every month here at the library. So there's a whole garden back there. Yes, in fact, we can see the butterfly so, garden from here. There's a butterfly garden. Yeah, quiet contemplation. People like the gazing pool. Oh, is, that, is that called the gazing pool? Yeah, yeah. Is there history why it's called the gazing no, pool? You okay. Just Are you just gazing? Okay, okay. Yeah. This. You don't see it, you see yourself in your right. reflection. Yeah, there you go. Kids like it. And that's people what, take their pictures there. Oh, it's a real, that's because the lighting's really good. Yeah, the video there, it's yeah. a cool area. So what you'll find is that modern libraries have meeting rooms. Okay. Not just for our own programs, but also to allow the community to have training and homeowners associations. We've hosted town meetings. We've hosted debates for candidates. We host fabulous things like debates the for market. candidates. Yeah. Like. Uh, we have some garden stories out there. Every 30 feet, you see uh, a few more pages of a book. This is pretty. That's gorgeous. And on a day like today, so you can see. Um, Every now and then there's a, there's a kiosk or a stanchion that has some pages on it. Okay. Uh, we change the stories every month. So right now it's the Cajun night before Christmas and you can read your way through the garden every 30 feet, get to the next two pages. Really? That's right. So wow. the, the library itself, um, it's all about creating inviting spaces for people to be. Okay. And even with COVID, people can be here. Teen room, every other chair is missing. And what is this? So this is the teen can room. We, can, we, can we check it out? We can. If there were lots of teens in there, I wouldn't. But uh, right now is a flat time. How y'all doing? The teens. And who is this? 
teen librarian Darcy. The teen, hey Miss Darcy. Co Cody's visiting the library through fresh eyes. With fresh eyes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I might be a new customer. Yeah, well he will be. <laughs> she's got me, she's got me. So, so we're so just checking it out. In all of our libraries, we believe that teens are their own persons and they deserve just as much attention as anybody else. But Struggle. we all agree that teens like it when they're not with the adults and the adults Absolutely. prefer it when the teens aren't with the adults so we give them their own space that's awesome <laughs> um, so they have their own computer banks though right now because of covid every other one is dark but they so still have a computer to come on yeah and of course there's wi-fi right. they have their own laptop bar they have their own junk machines they have their own quiet study rooms they no, have like their the own activity machine, yeah. room where they might do video gaming, they might do crafts. They um, so you can play video games in, in a library. Yes, in fact, she, Darcy hosts video game tournaments. This is you don't know what's in the book. I have no, oh my goodness! So it's like that's kind of neat. Blind though. date with a book here. That's kind of cool. So if you high school want, fantasy own voices. Yes. Yeah, or if you like nonfiction history, right. that one's for you. Because the co the cool thing about teen books is, especially for young people who don't want to read, right. find them what they do, and then let them read that, right. and no judgment. Well, I think too, like j sometimes just showing up and like get, just getting in this environment, they'll pick up a book and then yeah. open up and and find out what they like too. Yeah. So we have Dog Man, audio books, and we also have something called Playaways. Since you had mentioned Audible, we do have downloadable audiobooks. They also have um, CD books. But something new is this Play Away. I was going to say. It's this big. It's this big. The entire book is on this little black thing. And what do you do and with you, that black thing? you either plug it into your car, see it comes out your car speakers, or you plug it into your earphones, or if you have like a Bluetooth speaker, you know, the entire book is there. And I'm also papers. big on romantic you know, I've got that yeah, you've got romance. Yes, and we can put you into Hallmark as well. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Rom so you can also download, like I said, music for free, seven tunes a week through Freegal. Free and legal. It's Freegal. Um, free and legal. Freegal. Yeah, that's right. That's with your library Can you do the card. tune for me one more time? <laughs> <laughs> free and legal. legal. It's Freegal. See, so like see? It. you got that. So absolutely. Cool. It's kind of catchy. Now yeah. I know about it. But Blu-ray. Do you all provide new magazines too? Yes. Yeah, so... So you ladies, we do have People magazine. There you go. Or, but we especially care about the Advocate and the Times Picayune okay. because they are Louisiana. Right, so right. I have them Local. back to the 1800s. You have you have the Advocate back to the 1800s in a digital file that you can access from your phone for free from your house. It looks like we're going into a dance room here. Yes, we are. The dance so, hall. Yes. Ooh, yeah. See, they, they'll change See, I, depending I mean, on the show they have. Right. right now, I feel like, you know, you ever played that game? Uh, and it's a dance, dance. Dance, yes, dance, Yes, yes, dance, dance. Yeah, yeah, we did DDR at the library for teenagers. That's what we need to do. We need to do Back DDR. Back in the 90s. My daughter loves that. Well, that's how we got, that was my first video game. Was it? To have DDR in the oh library. Oh my goodness, you and would love it. people lost their <laughs> minds and I was able to say, well, it's, um, it's physical education. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, the children's room here uh, was... We can do that first. Uh, so whatever you want to do. Let's do this because we're good. <coughs> I wanted to show you this, Cody. Okay. Look at that closely. Those are strips of magazines. <laughs> That's wow, I wasn't expecting you to say that. Thank Architects like to put water features and you saw several outside. But inside the library, we don't like the water feature. Right. So here's our paper waterfall. I like from it. the third floor all the way down to the first. The so we are all about recycling and upcycling. Absolutely. This whole building is LEED certified, which meant it was built sustainably, efficiently. And we're doing lots of things to either save money or save energy. Right. Like having white, shiny ceilings and white, shiny shelves. And the roof. See how, see how the ceilings kind of like a butterfly yeah. or wings? We actually collect the water and dump it in a cistern and can use it in the irrigation. So, so you guys were like, get the water and yep. reuse it yep. for the garden in the back. Yeah. Wow. Pretty the way neat. we collect the rainwater and recycle it in the landscape. So we have study rooms on this floor. We have computer labs on this floor. We have adult computers and books. 
Okay. It's kind of like if I was coming to look for a, a book that that I was I was looking you for something would, in particular. You would ask these ladies at the desk, and, and I could come to you and say, "I need to find this book or this topic," and you tell me where it's at. Exactly. Yeah. And she okay. might even walk with you to the shelf. So if I said I want to know where Christopher Columbus is at, she would find him. You would in, find Christopher in Columbus. In the 900s or the biographies. Yep. It's a blessing. Mm -hmm. having those study quiet rooms took the talking off the floor. Do you have to tell anyone to shush? I don't. <laughs> well, it's total staff it, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, well, I, know, I know, that's right. Now this is something special. Yeah, it's a special. It's so special. That you wrote special. Yeah, because this is local history. This is Baton Rouge room, local history and genealogy. So this is the story of you, right. your family, right. Baton Rouge, and we like to call it Baton Rouge's Attic. So if I want to come in and learn anything and everything about Baton Rouge, I come into the special collection. This would collection. be a great place to start. Now the public has their own entrance. They have their own elevator. Bring them right up here. This whole building's made of zinc. It can be recycled after 125 years. Oh my God. Um, St. Joseph's brick from Louisiana. I know people personally that would love to know that. Yeah. That's, it's, this building's made out of zinc and you could reuse it. And yeah, yeah. As much as we could that was recycled or recyclable, right. we, we used it. In non COVID time, we might have an author reception up here. Right. I'm now officially a member of the Baton Rouge Library on Goodwood. We did it. We are done with the video for today.